Hello, great and wonderful friends around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's all good. It's all good because we are always excited. We are always happy for doing what we are doing, for doing what we do. We are always happy because we have reasons why we just need to be happy and uh, it keeps us going strong each and every day. So this morning or afternoon, I'm here in Nigeria regularly and always coming up with something that gets us going and uh, getting us thinking rightly, irrespective of the situation on the ground, irrespective of the movie being played, irrespective of actors and actresses around the globe. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. So, welcome once again to all of you. And uh, for me to start this, I have tried to put some questions down and answers to them. Okay? I want to start by going this way. My name is Amechi anyway. Are you stuck at home? The answer is yes. You may say no depending on your location, but the greater many saying yes to that very question. Good. The second one is, are you feeling bored? Many will say yes, you are feeling bored, you are tired of staying home because you are, you are tired. Okay? It was better when we used to go out, you know, struggle, make things work and all the rest of it. Okay? Some will say that they are bored. Some will say, well, much thing doesn't change. Much thing did not change for them, even though they are at home, okay? <laughs> Depending on what they do. The next, next question is, are you spending money, even stocks at home? Are you spending money? Yes, is the answer. Because the kids, okay? The expenses, the to-dos, the many things that requires money, don't even want to know anything like L or S, that lockdown, shutdown, whatsoever language you may think of it, they don't want to know about that. So, to the question, are you spending money, is a capital yes. Then, the next one say, are the kids giving you stress? <laughs> For those who have kids. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> one woman the other day was saying, wow, so the teachers, you guys are wonderful. So this is what you regularly go through because of these children. You know, the kids have to be kids. They don't want to know that there's lockdown or whatsoever. The only thing they are feeling is that they are no longer going to school because of the situation on the ground. So the stress of the kids are all over the parents and they have no way out. <laughs> they have no way out. We see what some parents are doing just to camouflage that they are not at home. They just want to feel to, to, to get out of the to get out of the home or whatsoever because the situation is not really uh, easy for them. So the next question now is, even while stuck at home, are you making money? So we say, how can that be? No, of course, we are not making money. Which reasons? We are stuck at home, and how do you expect us to be making money? <laughs> that is the question. That is the answer to the question. Are you making money even while stuck at home? Oh, so many. Because how do you expect us to be doing that? But here in TBC community, for those who are really into the flow of what is happening, <laughs> one, one musician here in Nigeria by name Lagwaja said, <laughs> the, the body can be enslaved but not the spirit. So we in TBC community, the pushers, the mass adoption team in TBC, ask them the question whether they are making money even while at home. They will say, please stop asking me that question. Let me teach you how to go about doing the same thing while you are stuck at home. Okay? Even at home, you'll be making money, making cool cash. <laughs> A lot keep on coming here and there. You know, it's all about the good things in TBC. So that is the answer to it. Many will say that not making money, but in TBC community, folks, you are in for real deal. You are making money. And that is just the opportunity, the good thing we have in TBC. And we 
flaunt it out. Okay? You let people know that we are doing what we are doing because you are excited about it. The excitement is not stopping. The excitement is contagious. And that's why you see, many a times you see us on the Zoom meeting. Today being Monday, is another busy day for Tibetan. So, we are just too flexible. Any place you fix us, we are always functioning there because we have a never say die admin. Admin is the strongest pilot, the best pilot for the community. Those who left TBC due to one reason or the other, <laughs> they are now tiptoeing back into the community. But for them, they are still being welcome. You are welcome if you want to continue to do what has been keeping you doing the right thing. But if you still have that old mentality of trying to play for the game in TBC, go back to where you're coming from. We don't want to see you. <laughs> because here in this community, we are indeed great guys. We are doing something good. And we are always out there to help people understand the reality on the ground. And another interesting thing that came up recently was something that bothered lots of Tibetans. You know, we've been talking about the need for one, all of us to keep on maintaining our monthly admin fee. But some people were not getting us right until admin came up with this mass adoption of a thing. Admin is gradually putting us up. Admin is gradually coming out with the real intent of TBC, how it's going to be built. We all know it. Getting a billion members is not an easy work, but we can actually get it if you are focused. And admin know how to go about it. And we always say that we have the best admin in the TBC community. We are not talking about programs that people are just there to rip others off and are priding themselves. We are making this and making that. What are you making when others are busy crying out? <laughs> so in TBC, it's a win-win situation for you. So for those who were dropped to Team B, Congratulations, because admin actually listened. Admin is not stiff. Admin is a very flexible person. Okay? When you cry out, when you share your concern, admin always makes sure that something good comes out of it because he know that what he's doing is going to benefit majority of people around. So, if you are among those who have dropped to Team B, Admin has given you another opportunity to come back to Team A. And that is going to take place very, very soon. So, please, don't wait until you are put down back there. Make sure that you pay your Admin fee. Okay? I've seen some people like Dr. Solo Amahotu making a video call, helping people to embrace this opportunity and I say kudos to him, doctor, you are doing very well. Another guy is MDS. MDS actually made a video talking about the same thing that people should not play with this very opportunity. And I'm saying thank you all my guy because you are indeed, we are indeed on the same page. Okay? So we should be doing the right thing. So let those who saw themselves in TB rally up, stand up. And start paying up their fee. Okay? You can actually be making it easy by having people doing that with you. Because TBC is a monumental project, a very big project that we have to, you know, tighten our seatbelt and work on it very well. Okay? Another point that I gleaned from what Admin was saying the other day is the fact that it is not yet time to overly concentrate on with the Talk party stuff, how we can spend our TBC and all the rest of it. Spending your TBC doesn't have to go about creating talk party programs. Okay? Spending your TBC doesn't have to go be about creating talk party programs here and there. Okay? You can actually get something that people will be interested in. The talk party program that you ever had in TBC is you. The talk party program that you ever have in TBC is your ability. The, the confidence you have in what you are doing, the third party, that is what you need. That third party is you. How is it you? Because when you go about, you know, you, you go to any shop and price their commodities, and price whatever they're selling, oh, do you accept TBC here? 
If not, why not? And then Derek showed us the practical way of having that done. He actually went to price a car for about $50,000 and asked the merchant, oh, please, I hope you accept TBC here. And the man was like, what is TBC? You know now, that ended up having an appointment booked. So folks, this is not the time for us to start looking for somebody who will open a shop and we go there and we spend it at TBC. Let us concentrate on those who don't know what TBC is all about yet and teach them what TBC is. Show them what you have. Let's help them to see the benefits, the good that we have in TBC and they are going to come easily into it. So, the videos, do I say videos, the movie is still going around. That is not our concern. Our concern is just that our movements have been restricted. Our freedom has been badly dealt with for, by those who are fighting for whatsoever that is for them. But I know God is an all powerful God. It's an all powerful. And whatever some people may be thinking that they are doing or they are fooling others, you know, Lucky Bay said it. You can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool everybody all the time, all the people all the time. So let's not uh, concentrate on that. But with what we are doing, let's go about giving people the opportunity we have in TBC community. Let's help them to realize that we have the best of it all. Let's share the wonderful thing we have in KCBO. Man, every day I go about you know having some transactions or a kind of just browsing through or having some little things doing there, I'm always marveling. You see, that KCBO, the features alone is enough to keep someone fully employed. I repeat, the features in KCBO, your bring up cash back office, the features they have there is enough to keep someone gainfully employed. We are talking about Bitcoin wallet. We are talking about different wallets. We are talking about security. We are talking about transactions. Just name it. Everything you want to do there, you always have reason why you need to do that. And then the reason being that you are not fooling people. You are not playing around. I, a friend who owes me some money, actually said, please, okay, I have uh, some money, but I don't know how to get it. It's in my KCBO. I said, okay, no problem. Because the person trusted me enough to give me his login details. Say, please go there and take it. Just half of it. I said, wow, fine, I do it. I'll do that. Do you know when I log into the account and actually go ahead to place my Bitcoin wallet to collect this, the, the the back end, the back office actually said, yeah, the money go was transferred to him, but they said, to an unknown person, to an unknown. That unknown shows that I'm not the owner of that very uh, credit card back office, okay? Because if it is known, that would have been attached to me that, yes, this thing actually belongs to me. But then, when I went back to check through the transaction details, how this thing was done, it was stated, look at how much in Bitcoin, that was uh, transferred to this and so, so look at the date, look at everything. Everything clearly spelled out. So I marvel most of the time when I see the features of what we have in there. So folks, let us appreciate what TBC admin for us is doing for us. Admin is great. Admin is wonderful. Admin, sometimes I don't know how to describe him because he is too much. That's just the, the language. But then we need to make use of use, good use of the opportunity to be given in TBC community. Let us go and help people understand what we have. We've been doing that. Let us concentrate on the main thing. That is the mass adoption team members. Let us build this 111,000, 111. Let us show that we are ready to step up the community and have it done rightly. Let's stop this idea of a chaotic movement here and there. Hey, you want to know? If you are thinking of joining, join TBC and understand TBC and have it done rightly.
this is me, I'm Thanks for listening.